going on guys welcome back to a brand new video my name is alex and welcome back to the puck log channel today we're going to talk about what we could do to fix nhl 23 as always make sure you leave a like subscribe if you're new and comment down below what would be your ideas of trying to fix the game now i ranted in my last video i was like this game is garbage there's so many issues blah 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 but I didn't actually come up with any solutions. Today, I want to talk about actual solutions for the game. And these are features that I've been asking for in the game for God knows how many years. And I hope finally in the next couple of, uh, you know, months, maybe we can actually get these updates. Uh, and I say updates because the things I'm going to recommend, I think, are things that could just be thrown into the game regardless of having to change the entire system itself. So hopefully EA, you know, listens to the community. And these are just things that I've heard from many, many people. So uh, let's get into it. Uh, just want to mention in this video, I put the goalies at 100 uh, overall or not 100 overall in their stats, but the gameplay sliders, I put them at 100. So the reaction time is really good and everything about them is actually pretty good. And I'll be honest, uh, if you're an offline player, do this because the goalies are very, very good. Your goalie and the other team's goalie is very good. They'll make most of the saves. They'll still end a few odd ones, but they'll make 95% of the saves uh, that are just like regular wrist shots, unless you're actually trying to like go out of your way to make really good passing play. I really like it. It makes the game a little more difficult. Okay, we'll stop with that. Let's get into the actual ideas here. So we'll start with gameplay. Um, the first thing I want to mention is the goalies, since we were talking about it already. Goalies are just a really great uh, place right now. Their backdoor saves, their cross crease saves are just really, really good. And it makes the game feel like... Um, if you make a mistake, maybe your goalie can actually make the save. And I like that. I really do like that. Uh, but the only thing issue, the only thing, the only issue with uh, the goalies at the moment is their shot percentage or their save percentage when it comes to uh, shots from the slot, shots from the top of the circle, shots from the point, even shots from a weird angle. And their rebound control is a little bit odd at the moment. Now, in this gameplay, you won't notice it too, too much uh, because of I put in the sliders. But when you're playing online... I don't know, like, I have had issues with that. I've really had issues with it, uh, and I've had issues with it uh, f where goalies are just coughing up rebounds that are, you know, I'm not talking about, like, oh, it's off the pad and out and into the open of the ice. Uh, I'm talking about, like, shots from, uh, you know, a weird angle. Goalie fumbles with it for some reason, and then he drops it in his crease, and then it's a rebound, or it's just somehow slips through him, which I've had a lot of, uh, you know, issues with that, is where the goalie makes a save, and the puck just somehow bumbles through him and then finds its way into the back of the net, which is just extremely frustrating uh, and, and very sad to see. So hopefully they can just adjust the goalies and their save percentage in terms of just like regular shots that come on net and to compensate, maybe drop the backdoor saves and the cross crease saves just a bit, just so that it's not impossible to score on the goalies. Cause I've heard people saying that it's a little bit difficult at the moment. So to each their own. All right. Moving on to the next gameplay thing, the fumble animation that is in the game. I like them. They make the game feel realistic. But they're a little bit too much. Uh, I feel like my players aren't necessarily uh, super strong on the puck. You know, I feel like they're always fumbling because why not fumble because it's a part of the game now. And I feel like they should just reduce it a little bit. I would like to see my players a little stronger, uh, you know, and uh, to be fair, this is a little nitpicky. You know, this isn't necessarily, you know, a big issue. It's just my opinion. Uh, this one I wouldn't really listen to too much. Also, I'd like to see the uh, opponents using the desperation passing and shooting uh, a little bit more, especially the passing. I've seen the shooting. I've seen, I've knocked players and then they quickly take a shot. I've seen a little bit. But I would really like to see the passing where I've knocked over players and I've never seen them go for a wild, you know, high percentage pass trying to make it across the ice. I've never seen it. So I'd like to see that a little bit in, uh, uh, you know, the next update. All right, let's move on to the last gameplay uh, thing that I'd like to see. If you have tried to make a custom team, you might have noticed that in the custom teams, you can actually put on, on ice presentations. You can put, uh, there's six, I think, and you could pick, put whatever one you want. Uh, all of those are really, really great, and it makes a really good uh, point to put them in the game. Uh, it makes me wonder if we should be putting them for every team. So as we've learned in the past few weeks, not every single team has a, uh, you know, intro animation, and that's why it's really hard to get one. Uh, apparently, it's only six teams that have intro animations, so hopefully uh, we can um, have a 
update where we put the custom intro animations and that way everybody gets uh, an intro animation. And even if it's not like a one that's, you know, particular to that team, you know, it might not have the team logo, but at least there's something to look at when you launch into a game. Uh, so that'd be really nice uh, because let's be honest, we should be launching into each game with some sort of new animation because that's what was advertised. Uh, so I'm going to leave gameplay there and we're going to move on to uh, franchise mode. So franchise mode has the custom leagues. It's really great. It works really, really well. And I love it so far uh, with the custom leagues. Once the custom rosters come out with the 90s and 80s throwbacks, uh, the custom leagues are going to be amazing. But let's talk about once you get past that, when you're actually in the mode itself, nothing's really changed. And I feel like we could get some more out of uh, franchise mode. And I'm going to just point out three things that I particularly would really like. Uh, these are just things that I think can be updated without having to re rework franchise mode. So the first one is a force trade button. So force trade is just basically you go in to make a trade and the team says, no way, I'm giving you, um, you know, Connor McDavid for a seventh round pick. And then, you know, obviously that wouldn't be realistic, but if you wanted to have fun in your franchise mode, you put force trade on and you force the trade to go through kind of like a commissioner mode in the uh, franchise mode that you're playing, which would be really fun. Uh, it'd also be really cool to be able to like, switch between teams or, you know, say, I don't want to play for this team anymore. And then you could just switch out and go to another team. I feel like those are things that should be able to be done without reworking franchise mode completely. I know in the seasons mode, which you just play through one season, you can actually do that where you control the entire, uh, you know, save file and you can actually do that force trade thing. So it'd be nice to see that in the next game, uh, or sorry, not in the next game in the update. See what I mean? This is what I'm saying. These are things that should be updated in the game. Uh, regardless of, uh, you know, we shouldn't have to get a whole new game. Uh, all right, next thing for franchise mode, custom players in the midst of your save file. I shouldn't have to quit out of the save file and then, you know, add a player or whatever and then go back and start a new franchise mode. I should be able to just add players as the seasons are being played. That'd be a really nice addition. Along with editing players' attributes, just be able to edit them as we go and not have to, you know, go out of the save file, create a new one, then create a new franchise and restart from the beginning. So I should be able to do those two things regardless of, um, you know, an update. Uh, it should just be in the game, but uh, hopefully they can update that. That'd be really, really cool and really, really nice. All right. Last thing, be a pro. Everybody loves be a pro, uh, but it is getting stale. They haven't changed it. Uh, I would love the idea of just being able to skip over the animations of the, um, uh, of the animations, the intros, I should say, of the be a pro. So, you know, when you start up be a pro, skip over the, the, the agent talk, uh, be able to skip through cutscenes where your agent's like, would you like to sign a serial deal? And you're like, no, thanks. And whatever. So I'd like to be able to just skip through those, you know, kind of like FIFA, you can hold down the a button or whatever, and you can just like click through it and then, you know, you're through it and I don't have to watch it, which would be great. Okay. Last thing for be a pro is going to be custom players in be a pro so you can play with a custom roster now and it works that's great but i would like to be able to play with my custom player because i don't want to restart be a pro and you know fight through the uh the game modes and stuff like that and fight through and get my stats up again and i, I just want to be able to have my 80 90 overall player put him into the system play as him and call it a day in fifa you can do that you can just pick a custom player or whatever and then you know it'd also be cool to be able to actually play as a NHL player an already active player but that's maybe something that requires a little more uh, work so maybe that won't be an update maybe that'll be in the next game but the ability to play as a custom player should be able to you know just be implemented into the game uh, without having to uh, you know go out and, and um, create a whole new game around it uh, so Thanks for listening. Uh, I feel like these updates are pretty reasonable. These aren't like necessarily big, 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 big things that need to be, uh, you know, a whole rework of the modes or whatnot. So I feel like these are things that can be done. Uh, I'm not, a, I'm not a developer, so maybe I'm wrong, but uh, I appreciate all your guys' patience. Thank you so much. Leave a like, subscribe, and uh, again, comment. Let me know which one uh, you'd prefer, which area you want improved, and how you would improve it. And uh, have a great day.